to my channel today. As you can see, I'm a little bit dressed up, you know, yeah, how it is. But today's a very special video. I'm actually doing a collaboration with a number of other ladies here on YouTube. Uh, this collaboration has been um, started by the gorgeous Angel from Glamour Gossip with Angel. Doing a Makeup Through the Decades collaboration and I'll list everybody's names down below and what era they're doing um, and all of their bits and pieces and information and links to their videos as well. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial and let's just get straight into which decade guys? The 80s! So I'm going to take my gloves off because I'm sure they're going to get in the way. Um, do you like my hair? It's, you know, it's big. I've got a big old bow in it. I had so much fun researching um, ideas and I decided that I would go with sort of glamour 80s um, so not so much of the fluorescent type stuff but more um, Madonna so if you can see that's who I'm channeling here um, yeah I loved Madonna when I was growing up and she was sort of really an iconic figure when I was younger as well so yeah she was huge and it was all about you know pearls and big hair and pushing the boundaries etc so which she's still doing today so let's just get straight into this tutorial I'm going to prime my skin first with the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have a little bit of fallout from like the eyeshadows that I'm going to do so I'm going to do my eyes first which I normally do anyway so I'm going to put on my base which is the NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone first and then I'm going to go over the top with sort of a frosty white or creamy kind of, um, what do you call this, eye base. And this is a Designer Brands one in Whipped Mineral Eyeshadow Cream to Powder. It doesn't have a colour on it, unfortunately. It's just sort of that frosty, champagne-y sort of shade. So I'm going to pop that frosty eye base all the way up to my brow bone. I hope you can't hear that ticking noise. It's my lights. I have no idea why it's making that noise. I probably should really investigate that because it is something electrical, hey? Okay, so I'm just going to line my tight line and my waterline first. Actually, just the tight line with this one. And it's just the Rimmel Eye Soft Coal Kajal Eyeliner in Jet Black. I'm going to line my lower waterline with, of course, a blue. <laughs> so this is the Maybelline Color Show in Turquoise Flash. And I'm going to pull that down onto the um, lower lash line as well. So it doesn't have to be too neat or precise. Um, because we're going to go over that with eyeshadow. Actually, I might just zoom these guys in so you can see everything a little bit clearer. Okay, so I think the two shadow palettes that I'm going to work from today is the Maybelline Blush Nudes and also a Rimmel Glam Eyes Quad in State of Grace. So um, if you haven't already noticed, I'm actually using all drugstore products. Just thought I'd do something a little bit more different and mix it up. I'll use this white shade in the Blush Nudes palette and pop that all over the lid just to give that base um, something to stop the stickiness and tackiness out of that base. So just going into this um, Rimmel Quad, I'm just going to go in with that purple shadow and I'm going to place that sort of all over the lid and sort of, um, let me think, yeah, I'm going to place it all over the lid and sort of up into the crease. So I'm going to go back into this Maybelline palette and I'm going to pick up these two sort of colours on the outside. One's frosty and sort of taupey kind of coloured and then the other one is sort of more matte and pinky sort of coloured. So depending on how that goes, I may also mix in a little bit of this pink here. Actually, no, I'm going to put that on the inner corner. So I'll stick to those two colours on the outside. So I'm going to go up really quite high. That was the look back then. And bring it quite intensely over into that inner corner. This feels so weird. 
Sorry about my phone just going off then. I will put it on as well in a second. I'm going to deepen up that corner as well. I'm just going to go into this sort of quite a dark sort of um, kind of colour is it? It's sort of like a black with sort of burgundy reflex to it. Just to add a little bit more drama. Because we are doing sort of a nighttime look or a glam, a glam 80s look. Just going into that colour and putting it on the inner corner. It's quite a frosty, peachy, pinky kind of colour. I'm going to go between the two blue colours and put them on the lower lash line. And I'm also going to pop a part, touch of that silver on the inner corner as well, just to, you know, amp it up. Just going in with a clean blending brush and just blend out all those edges. And I think I'll do a bit of a frosty uh, brow bone highlight. So I'll do my brows now. Now, um, brows in the 80s were big, full, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I'm going to use my Chi Chi Brow Pomade. brows in the 80s were quite thick and ungroomed as well so well groomed but not like how they're groomed now I did notice that in those pictures of Madonna she had huge big bushy brows so as my brows are tattooed on I'm gonna have to give myself a whole new shape I think I'm gonna go back into that silver out of this one and that Sort of shimmery, frosty colour out of this one and pop that on as my brow bone highlight. Going with the silver first. Just blend that out. My brows in place with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. This is in medium dark. We don't need to do that with those that brow pomade, but it gives a bit more texture to the brows. Right, I'm going to go in with some mascara, and I'm using my Chi Chi 3D Magic Lash. I'm going to pop on heaps and heaps of mascara. Decide whether I put on false lashes or not. So. No, did they wear falsies in the 80s? I don't remember. I know they definitely did in the 60s and the 70s. But I can't remember in the 80s. And all the pictures that I was looking at, everyone just looked like they had just a really a buttload of mascara on. I am going to pop on some coloured mascara as well. So this is the NYX Colour Mascara in purple. I'll just intensify everything and just um, make it a bit more fun, I think. Okay, so for face, I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match, and this is in the shade 4N Beige. 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 Okay, seriously. So just using my Chi Chi Sponge. I really enjoy these sponges and they're really, really cheap. Super. Right, I'll just grab a concealer. Just about fell off my chair. Okay, just going in with the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in Ivory. And there wasn't any like major highlighting or anything like that going on in their faces that you could definitely tell. But I'm just going to add a little bit without it being too over the top. 
and blend it in with that sponge. Before we set all of that with powder, I am going to do a little bit of contouring because I did notice in all the pictures, everybody did seem to have that chiseled um, cheekbone look. So I am going to create that look with a bit of blush, but I really want to em emphasize it a bit more with um, some contouring, but only very lightly. So I am going to just use a cream foundation stick, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me in 330 Toffee Caramel. a um, foundation brush just to sort of work it into the skin. Not to be too like noticeable. And I just put some around my hairline just to sort of um, to sort of even it all out. And just using my sponge just to go over the top and make sure everything's all blended. Now I'm not going to say I'm blending out any harsh lines because I do kind of think that in the 80s that was a very harsh line, the blush. So we are definitely doing that today. So I'm just going to set all of those sort of face powder or face area with my Australis Fresh and Flawless powder in darkest brown. whether they actually did any sort of highlighting as such back then but I do kind of think that some of these shades in my sleek um, solstice palette are a little bit you know especially that purple color there I just think it would be a little bit fun to play up on the eyes so I might to put a little bit in the middle of my eyes and just a t touch on the top of my cheekbone as well it's all about color in the 80s Holy crap, I haven't used this before. <laughs> Whoa! Highlight on fleek. Okay, just putting whatever's left on my brush there. And picking up a little bit more. And oh yeah, look at that. Holy crap. <gasps> awesome. Oh, it's caught in my eyes. Radio blush. I decided to go with a matte blush because I seem to think everything was very, very matte face-wise, like um, for blush and lips and the skin as such looked very, very matte then, the eyes frosty and that kind of stuff. So I've picked up two um, of my Australis blushes and they're both matte and they're the Show Me Show Some Cheek blushes. So I've got Sinful and a Blaze, and I'm gonna go into both these. Now they're very pigmented, so I'm just going to do like a light touch and um, tack off the excess, but I am really going to um, chisel out this sort of area. This was very common look for the 80s, was this stripe of blush, not too blended out. It. Give me some high cheekbones. You know what's bad? Well, it's not bad, but I actually really like this look. I don't know whether I'd rock it walking down the street on a Friday morning, but oh my god. I turned 40 in a couple of years. I know, shocker. Um, and I think I'm going to want to have an 80s party because the 80s I just love. And you know what? I even have a wet. A, sweatshirt tied around my waist at the moment because I'm like just totally channeling the 80s. Is that enough blush? Can you see it? Ooh, nice. Do I put on false lashes or not? Because I've got some little Ardell 318s. Do I put them on? Oh, I don't know. 
Yeah, let's put it on. Color lip. I'm gonna go, I, th I had pink, I like a hot pink out, and also a red. And I think I'm gonna go with the red. Cause, um, I don't know, I think it just think, uh, bits, it feels more 80s doing a red than a pink. Like blue and purple eyeshadow I think is definite from the 80s. But I think, you know, with this Madonna look that I'm going, she wore a lot of red lips. I don't know what I was going to say then. Yep, I made a good decision there. Oh, I'm not going to want to take this makeup off. I better before the kids come home from school, I'll be like, Mum, what are you wearing? <laughs> Okay, lips. I'm going to line my lips with the NYX lip liner pencil and I think this is just in red. I can't see what it's in but it's a red. I know that overlining the lips is a very big thing for like now the naughties, but I did notice in all of the pictures that I was having a bit of a squeeze out and getting some inspiration that the lips back then everybody had big lips and I don't think lip injections were really that big a thing back then so I overline my lips so that they look even because I know it's not even at the bottom. And then going in with the color drama, what is this? Intense Velvet Lip Pencil in 520 Light It Up. keep getting a glance at that highlight and it's like distracting. <laughs> Rightio. I'm going to pop on some setting spray. What have I got here? The L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. Shake it up so that there's no sediment in the bottom. Oh. Because I'm kind of feeling like I need to wear this look all day. So We'll zoom in so that you can get a really nice look at this makeup. Okay, so guys, what do you reckon? Is it 80s enough? Sort of sparkly, oh not sparkly, but frosty purple on the eyes. A little bit intense on the outer corner. Blue on the lower lash line, of course. Um, how's that blush? Does it, need, does it need some more? Now that I've put my lips on. Don't look over me. <laughs> this is just how I normally rock on Thursday. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yes. Okay, zoom out, give you the whole look, hair, jewelry, gloves on. Wish I had some lace ones. I tried to find some stuff in my daughter's dress up box, but yeah, she didn't have any. So yeah, we are all done. What do you guys reckon? Give my hair some teasing. God, I'm not going to be able to <laughs> brush this out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed um, this collaboration. Don't forget to go and check out everybody else's channel. And if you've come to my channel from one of the other girls, hi. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you, and if you liked watching this tutorial um, of makeup through the decades, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.